What's up, YouTube? Thanks for coming to my channel. My name is One of a Kind Vlogs. If you're new to the channel, like, subscribe, cut on post notifications so that you never miss a video, and comment down below. When you get on my channel, press subscribe and press the all button so every time I upload, you'll get the notifications. And today we're going to talk about portable battery chargers. Everyone needs to have one of these in their car at all times. They say don't leave them in there when they're cold, and they say don't leave them in there when they're hot. So your best bet is to carry it in the house. And when you get ready to leave out the house to go somewhere, you carry this little puppy right here. I think I've done it on here before, but I'm going to do it again because a lot of people don't understand what this is. And with that being said, it comes with, the, with a little compartment, which is uh, has the little accessories to it. So I'm going to do a little bit about that today. Uh, I don't want to take all this out. This is the charger. Well, I have to now. This is the charger. You charge it in the in the wall and stick it into that and let me see if I can take this out without tearing the plastic up let's see oh I've done it okay this little jewel right here has a pump in case your tires get low you can pump it up it tells you uh, in the front which I'm gonna show you in a minute um, on this side you have a light that you can flash or you know keep it uh, on at all times when you're trying to find stuff in the dark and then this is the controller okay this is your battery your battery port okay this is your battery port which i'm going to show you the wires that go into that uh this is the on and off button right now i'm showing uh 99 normally it's at a hundred percent but i got to i don't have to charge it no time soon uh, this one right here is for your air pressure. I'm not going to cut it on because it'll start making noise. That's what these two buttons right here are for. And then you got your little cell phone input right here. So, the uh, which is a beautiful thing to have, again, because you never know where you're going to be. You, you could have a flat. You could be, your tire pressure could come on um, or anything. You don't know. So, here goes the little stuff. I can always put this in later, so I ain't worried about it right now. I'm gonna take everything out. Come on now. I hear you down there in the bottom of the thing. Okay. Like you need to pump up your it's got all the little components in here in case you have to pump up your basketball, beach balls, or what have you. All the little things are in it right here. And this is the the you go to pump, you go to pump part, you put this part right here into this part right here. So that go feeds into that. So that's how your air, put your air in your tires and stuff at. And this part right here goes in the battery charge port right here. And then you cut, again, you cut it on here. It shows everything. When you cook it up to the battery, see it say 12 volts, see it's blinking. So I'm going to cut it back off. So when it when it's blinking, it's telling you that it's ready. I mean, when it's solid, it tells you when it's ready. When it's blinking, it's, it's, it's like right now, there's nothing hooked up to it. But you hear a thing go, bing. And when you hear a thing go, bing, it means it's ready for you to go in there. Fire up the car. Let me cut some air on in here. Because I'm hot. Wrong way. Because um, when you do all that, you uh, it's ready for you to get in there. And it's ready for you to fire the car up. And if you don't hear that, that means your, your battery is as dead as a doughnut. Sometimes it'll crank it over. Sometimes it won't. Just throwing it out there. Um, again, that's a good thing to have. If you don't have one like mine, that's okay. You can still buy them. Um, a lot of people buy the bigger ones in case... Uh, depending on what they have, like if it's a truck or SUV or, you know, that might not crank it over, but I'm pretty sure it will. My, I had an Affinity before I had the Nissan there. The Nissan don't give me no problems, but the Affinity was giving me problems. I thought I uh, did a no-no, which is something that another thing you need to do, cover your distributor cap. When you spray it all down in there, well, I sprayed it down in there, and it was fine until I got to the mall. When I got to the mall, it wouldn't crank up. The only reason why I didn't, I had to call somebody to come and crank me up. It's because I didn't have that in the car. Now, when I leave to go to my brother's house after a while, I'm going to put that 
in the car because <laughs> you never know. You never know. Like now, I have a tire pressure light on. The only reason why my tire pressure light on is because I don't think there's any sensors in them tires. So when I get new tires, I'm putting new sensors in there. And God was telling me today when I went to fire, so I got my windshield wipers. He was like, you probably need uh, new tires. You probably need suspension. You probably need, new, after you get front end alignment. I'm like, look here, bro. I just want a front end alignment. I don't want to put no new tires on there because I'm going to put some 20s on there. And when I get to 20s, I'm going to have new, new tires I'm paying for, which I don't really need. That's defeating the purpose. But, again, it's about the battery charger. Go out and get you a battery charger. I got mine from Home Shopping Network. You might want to get yours from Walmart, uh, Home Shopping Network, Amazon, e eBay, wherever you, you see them at a reasonable price, I would say jump on it. Now, I got that. I bought actually bought that for my pops. But now that he's not here, you know, I'm, I'm using it. You know what I'm saying? It's mine now. Go figure. And my brother, I let my brother use it sometimes too. So that's what today's thing about is about the battery charge. Everyone should have one in their car. Everyone. Now, I got something else to show. But I'm going to do that in the next video. Because when I come back home on Friday. Because it's something that I think everybody should have also. So until then, I want to thank you all for watching. I want to thank you all who hit the like, the like button. I want to thank you all who subscribe. My name is One of a Kind Vlogs. And if you're new to the channel, like, subscribe, click on post notifications, and comment down below. Share me out to everybody you, you know that wants to look at this, this type of video, this type of content. Uh, you can join my channel for $2.99. Come on over to the Insignia channel where we're building an empire for good. I always like to do that. But anyway, uh, uh, yeah. Come on over, man. We got some exciting things coming as soon as I get right. Right now, things is not falling. My chips is not falling like I want them to fall. But I'm going to get there soon, real soon. So until next time, I, one of a kind of blogs, will see you all on the next video.